Hey guys, it's Doc, and in today's video I am going to prove to you, in an experiment you can do at home as well too, that without any doubt, beyond any reasonable doubt, human char is the best biochar product for lawns on the market today, and there's a specific reason for that. It has nothing to do with the quality, has nothing to do with inoculation, get all that out of your mind. I'm about to put up a video clip that I want you to watch and it's before this video starts. And what you're about to see, humichar comes in pellet form. As soon as it hits water, it explodes, basically. What you're gonna see now, what I'm gonna put up is, I'm gonna put up what that humichar, that biochar looks like in a little fluid channel, in almost molecular talcum-sized little teeny particles. So what you're gonna see here is you're gonna see biochar flowing by, and this is the size of it as it's flowing through. So I want you to keep this picture in mind while we watch this video and while I actually talk about the true benefits of this product and why I believe it's the best biochar product on the market for lawns, hands down. So hold on one sec. Hey guys, it's Doc, and today I am going to prove to you, beyond a shadow of a doubt, using physics and science, why Humichar is the only biochar product that will actually show benefits to your lawn within the first year. It's one of the only products on the market that can do that, and I'm going to prove it to you, and you can actually do this experiment yourself at home. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff on biochar this year, a lot of stuff on the new humichar this year, but uh, today I just wanted to go over and prove a point that some people are starting to ask about, so I figured I'd go ahead and just address this issue right up front, and that is why I believe humichar is the only product on the market that is made for lawns, that is truly effective on lawns, and truly effective and can actually start to show results within the first season. That's important. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna address that issue up front, and then we're gonna talk a little bit about biochar. I'll show you a little test area I have over here. We'll talk a little bit about organic matter. Uh, before I go and start this though, the Bermuda Lawn Guide is now out. I promised you guys that it's out and it has its own website. So everything I'm talking about today, the human char, soil test, whatever I talk about, in the description below there's a link. That link will take you to a web page. Everything is there. If you want to sign up for our giveaways, Christmas we gave away a $2,000 reel mower. If you want to sign up for our giveaways, sign up for the email list on that page. So be a YouTube subscriber. Sign up for the email list and you're all set for the giveaways. You only have to do it once. It just notifies you every time we post. The next thing before I start, everyone's freaking out about this warm weather. I've got green Bermuda coming up. This is January 16th and I've got green Bermuda popping up everywhere. My backyard actually looks starting to look green. I freaked out this morning. I went out front in my front yard, which is longer. I have a bunch of green Bermuda out there. It's going to be like 72 degrees today. There's a bunch of weeds starting to pop up all around the neighborhood. I want everyone just to calm down. And the reason being is we are going to have, February is still in front of us. And late January and or mid through February is typically the time we get these freeze coming come in. And that'll take care of a lot of our weed and that'll set our Bermuda back into dormancy. So like next week, we're gonna have three days uh, coming up later this weekend and into next week where the lows are going to be 25 to 28 for lows highs in the 40s and 50s So that's going to set everything back into dormancy. It's going to kill a lot of weeds So just everybody hold off and be patient. Just be patient We're not really going to do anything with our lawns right now until probably mid-February. So just chill out So how am I going to prove to you that? Um, Humichar is the only product that really is made and effective on lawns. Number one, how do you put out lawn products? You have to be able to put a product into a spreader and be able to spread it easily and get a good controlled rate. In other words, almost all your particles need to be about the same size. Humichar is made out of a DG process and all the particles are about the same size. So it's easily spreadable. So now we understand that we have to be able to spread this product. Humichar, what's really cool about Humichar is that as soon as you 
put water on it, within about 60 seconds, it turns into this microscopic, almost super fine, like talcum powder. It's super, super, super fine. You have to get a microscope to see all the particles. So just one little teeny particle will break into thousands of micro particles. Why is that important? Well, if you understand how biochar works, one of the reasons that people talk about, and we're gonna talk about inoculating biochar, uh, charging biochar, uh, preloading biochar, whatever you wanna call it, we'll talk about that. But when you're tilling biochar into agriculture, into soil, you're tilling it down to the soil, it's gonna be near the roots. That's the only place in the root zone that biochar is beneficial to plants. Biochar has no beneficial qualities tops on, 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 on sitting on top of the ground. In other words, if it's not down amongst your roots, then it's really not gonna add any beneficial, any benefit to your, um, to your soil or to your plant. So understand that. The only time biochar can benefit a plant is when it is around the nutrient absorbing part of the plant, which is the roots. So it has to be around the roots for it to actually be effective. So if it's not there, we don't even need to inoculate it or pre-charge it because we're not getting it down to the root zone. Later, in later videos, I'm gonna show you a, a big piece of uh, biochar. Let me show you actually, kind of a medium-sized chunk of biochar. So that's actually a medium-sized chunk. That's half a gram of biochar. And why is half a gram? Because what ends up happening, biochar, one of the things about it is the molecular holding power of it in the surface area. That little piece right there has the same surface area as a tennis court. You believe that? That little half gram piece of biochar has the same surface area as a full tennis court. So it has this massive sur surface area. There are, uh, there are molecular bonding sites Billions millions inside this thing that nutrients and microbes can attach itself to. But here's the problem. Let's say this is the ground. And let's say we have uh, dirt, we have a thatch layer, and then we have green grass. This piece is gonna sit on top of the ground and it's not gonna do anything. Why? Because it's not reaching the root zone and it's gonna sit there. And how long is it gonna sit there? It's gonna sit there for years and years and years until maybe it finally breaks down into a sort of microscopic uh, size where it can actually work down into the root zones. Humichar is different. Humichar is as soon as you wet it and rain starts falling it's gonna it's sitting on the thatch layer it's gonna immediately go through the thatch it's gonna hit the soil and it's immediately gonna start to work down to the soil. No other product does that on the market. All the other biochars that are out there are too large size-wise, pellet size-wise, or granule size-wise, even if they're a grind, to actually work down into the soil. It will take years and years and years for it to effectively work down deep into the root zone. Humichar is different. Humichar can actually work down <clears throat> the first season up to an inch, inch and a half, just by working down into the soil. It's really cool. Let me take you over here and let me show you a little sample spot. Now remember, why is this important? Biochar is only effective when it's around the root zones of a plant. So if we can't get it down into the soil and deep into the soil, it's not effective. That's why it's so popular in agriculture. Huge advances are being made with biochar in agriculture because they're able to till it into the soil. And yes, that's when you want to inoculate it and pre-charge it. We'll talk about it. We'll do some uh, garden videos with it later this year. All right, so I want you to look at this. <clears throat> Here are two squares that were heavily loaded with char, biochar. This is a standard biochar product that's a mix of small pieces, large pieces, or whatever. And this was also almost dark black too. Now this has only been a couple of days. It's been watered twice. And I want you to look at the difference. Can you see any, can you see any humic product in there or biochar product in there? No. You see nothing. Even if you dig down through the thatch layer, it's already through the thatch layer. It's working down to the soil. Look at this. You see this? <clears throat> Maybe I should shade that. Let me try and shade it a little bit so you can see it. You got that? Look at that. See that biochar? You know how many years it's gonna take for that to work down and get to the root zone? Two, three, four years. <clears throat> This product here, gone. Again, same amount of treatment, gone, already down to the soil. And it's already starting to seep down into the soil and work into the soil. 
Now, I'm going to come back to that in about a month, and I'm going to show you to a month from now, and I'll show you that maybe six months from now. It's going to look pretty much the same. So what does that tell us? All the talk about charging, inoculating, preloading, all that talk about what you need to do to biochar doesn't make a damn bit of difference if you can't get it to the root zone. It's just basically physics. <laughs> it's physics and it's science. Biochar only works around the roots. The roots are there collecting the nutrients using the microbes. That's where biochar needs to be. That's why when you're agriculture, you actually till it into the soil down around the root zones. Or if you're planting individual plants, you put it in around that individual plant. So when we top apply it on a lawn, there's only one product that within 30 days will actually start to work down into the soil and start to be in the soil. Now, later this year, uh, later this month, I'm gonna show you how we can actually pre-charge uh, Humichar and how we can inoculate it if you wanna do that on your lawn. You don't have to do that. And the reason being, is that it's gonna be in that thatch layer or just below that thatch layer. It's not gonna be near the roots. It's, a, it's like a magnet. And it's gonna be drawing in sort of the top nutrients and microbes. And it's gonna slowly work down. So you can just put it out and leave it. You don't have to preload it. You don't have to precharge it. You don't have to inoculate it when you're doing lawns. It'll naturally pick up the natural organisms, the natural fungi, the natural microbes, and it'll actually pick up some of the nutrients that we're applying on top of that lawn. We're actually going to take, uh, later this month, I'm going to show you a way, right after you put it out, you actually mix up super juice, and we're going to add in some microbes, some powder microbes, and what we're going to do is we're going to spray it, we're going to come out here and spray it, let the particles dissolve, spray it again, you're all done. But you don't have to do that. It's just an option. If you're going to be putting in a garden, if you're going to be putting it subsurface, then you really need to pre-charge it, and you need to get some of those microbes into it. Uh, otherwise, you won't see any real positive results until the second year. That's the way biochar works. Real quick, let me knock out a couple questions for people they had about this. Number one, is it organic? Yes, we finally got the OMRI seal approved. So it is organic listed. And if you don't see that seal on a bag of biochar, then it is not organic approved. It is not approved for organic um, stuff. Uh, can it hurt my lawn? No, there are no nutrients in biochar. That's the beautiful thing about it. Remember, a lot of your agricultural people are putting 10 to 20% of their soil is biochar. Do you know how much you'd have to put to make the first four inches of your lawn 10 to 20%? You'd have to put probably what? A solid inch of biochar across all your lawn and then till it up just to get the first three inches at about 10 or 20%. So put out as much as you want. You can just coat the place as much as you want. As much as you can afford, put it out. Uh, so it cannot hurt your lawn. You put out any time that you want with anything. You don't have to wait. Anytime you're doing anything, put out Humichar. We're gonna be putting out Humichar almost every single month and we're gonna be doing different things. We're gonna be feeding it a new dirt cheap organic matter that we found that you guys can pick up at a local store. We're gonna be, I'm gonna be showing you some of that stuff later this year too. Now, is it safe? Absolutely. Remember, biochar, biochar, bugs out here. Biochar, biochar is actually used in the health. Now I'm eating humichar, by the way. It's actually used in the health service. Uh, people eat it for diarrhea, basically activated charcoal. Uh, yes, it is safe. Uh, you don't have to worry about dogs, you don't have to worry about kids. It's completely safe. Put it out and let them go. <laughs> but the nice thing about this is, if you put this out and charge it like we're talking about with super juice or just let the rain get it, you don't have to worry about black feet, black paws coming back into the house. And that's a big problem with regular biochar products. They sit on the top and they sit in that thatch layer. And whenever you walk on them, I mean, it's charcoal basically. It turn your hand black. And as you start to grind it up, as you start to grind it up, it's actually gonna turn black. And Humix and, and biochar, are, are kind of nasty and they're gonna get, but with the, with the humichar, it's right down under that thatch layer. So there's no black paws and there's no black feet. Give you a little preview. This is what a humichar molecule looks like, <laughs> a small piece of humichar when you put it under an electron microscope. Basically you have a bunch of channels and you have a bunch of porous surfaces 
and it acts like a magnet. It draws in nutrients and it draws in microbes and it holds them in the lawn and it'll stay there for thousands of years. We're gonna be doing so much stuff on this coming up, but I wanted to address that issue. I wanted to be upfront. I don't care what claims people make about their biochar product. There's a bunch of people out there making claims. If it cannot reach subsurface within the first 30 to 60 days, <laughs> it's not gonna do you any good. It's not gonna do you any good. Biochar is a long-term building process anyways, unless you're in agriculture where you pre-charge it, you inoculate it, and the first year you'll see results. On the lawn, it's a little bit different, but this will act faster than any other um, biochar product because it works down into the root zone faster. So anyways, guys, that's just a little peek at what we got coming this year, a bunch of different stuff. Again, don't freak out about your green lawn. My lawn is all green. I got green lawns. I got green grass coming up everywhere. Now I did want to show you something really cool. Let me grab the camera. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it with all the sunshine. I have a test strip over here. And all we did was we put out a tiny bit of human char. And when we put out a bunch of this clean organic matter that I'm talking about, super, super clean. It smells like, and you could eat it too. It's that clean, but there's a strip of lawn. Look at all my poana coming up. See the orange flags? I don't know if you'll see it. Let me try it from this side. Can you see the orange flags there? Now this is January 16th and there's a dark green strip that's forming there. You know what that's from? A little bit of human char and a lot of organic matter. That's it. <laughs> Who knew grass would be growing again? But you can see, this is kind of brown over here. And when you come over here, look at it. It's, there's green shoots coming up everywhere. And that's just using a little bit of humid char and lots of organic matter, no fertilizer. I'm telling you, this is gonna be a fun year. Anyways, guys, just wanted to address that issue. It's so important that we understand biochar, if you're top dressing it, has to be tiny, tiny, tiny. <laughs> has to be microscopic and it'll slowly work down and it'll slowly work down into your soil oh man anyways got a lot more stuff don't forget the bermuda lawn guide is out i'm getting ready to do a winter weed video soil testing video i just sent off my soil samples this morning bunch of stuff talk to you later doc